Hello and welcome to a new player review. Today we finally get our wish with mixed emotions I would say. We get the player that we always have been asking for for this fitness which is Musa Sissoko from Spurs but the SBC looks very expensive. Uh, there's two parts to it, both uh, require an 86 team to complete which should be well over 300, 350,000 points with a 84 rated Sissoko. Now, it might look like a lot of coins, but if this card plays like the stats um, say it's supposed to be playing, this could be like a, you know, a, a, a new Hullet or something like that. So it might not be that expensive uh, depending how this card plays the game. Now we've all played his uh, normal gold rare, uh, gold rare card, and that card is fantastic. I mean, a lot of people still use that card in the club and it's still great and it's still a meta card to play, so it, it, this card can only be better. So before thinking that 300,000 might be too much, uh, bear in mind that uh, to get a player close to him, uh, I don't think there are that many alternatives to a player with stats like these and a card that plays like this in the game. So um, I was gonna do, I think I am gonna do him anyways, the actual card, but because it requires 286, it requires you know a lot of uh, thinking there to do a proper team and not to overspend. So I went ahead and did this loan to get this review out of the way uh, as quickly as we can. So uh, let's start with the stats. Most of, of it we already know, but uh, we'll see he's 187. So he's like 6'1", 6'2", uh, maybe, very tall, high, high work rates, very nice for a CM or a CDM because he can play in any position in the midfield. You can even play him as a center back, uh, three star weak foot and three star skills. So very nice that we go into the details. You can see his pace um, is uh, very good. 83, uh, 76 acceleration and 88 sprint speed. Like I always said, I'm not a big fan of the differential of acceleration to sprint speed. And when there is a differential as big as this, uh, 12 points, I always prefer the acceleration to sprint speed. But uh, this card will most likely require a shadow. Now, because it's a loan card, I applied a uh, anchor, which I have a lot and I uh, have quite a few of them which are tradable as well. Uh, but if you actually get this card and you apply a shadow, his speed and acceleration will go into the 90s. Uh, I think his acceleration will go to 91 and sprint speed to 98. So we're talking about a fantastic CDM. Uh, okay, shooting, attacking positioning 80, uh, finishing not that good, shot power 89, long shot 72. So he's all right for maybe taking a shot outside the box. His passing is good, uh, 80 vision, 79 crossing, um, 87 short pass and 80 long pass and 79 curve so that will be all right for your CDM. His dribbling this is the only fault you can have on this guy he has low agility and low balance 66 and 60 uh, is not very nice there because he might be tough to turn when a quick opponent is running towards you and he suddenly does a dribble or switches um, the sides or sw switches directions of where he's running at um, he might get lost there uh, while trying to turn him uh, his reactions are great, 85, ball control 83, dribbling 87, and composure 77. And his defending stats are very nice, uh, 84 interceptions, uh, 79 defensive awareness, 86 stand tackle, and 85 slide tackle. Also his physicals into the 92, uh, 79 jumping, fantastic stamina 94, fantastic strength of 93, which is very important for your CDM, and 87 aggression. Now, as you can see with the anchor on perfect pen cam, we go to 81 acceleration and 93 sprint speed, which is very good. Uh, 89 interceptions, 83 heading accuracy, uh, 89 defensive, aware uh, defensive awareness, uh, 86 standing tackle and 85 slide tackle. We also go to 89 jumping, uh, 98 strength and 97 aggression. So this card looks like a beast. Um, I'm expecting it to play like a beast. Um, I don't think uh, we'll see that agility and balance in the game, but like always, we'll go and have a couple of games in Foot Champions and test this guy out. Uh, so how are we gonna start is uh, with this team um, that I quickly put together. I'm gonna use this loan Zidane that we got from Objectives, and we're gonna go into the 4-1-2, uh, no, we're gonna go into the 4-2-3-1 formation first. We're gonna play him with two CDMs, but uh, he's going to be the main one here. Um, Tonali, I have on. Uh, I don't have any instructions to stay back. Here we go. Uh, just cut passing lanes. So Sissoko is going to be the only stand stay back while attacking CDM. 
and cover the center um, for the first game. And then we'll go into a second game and play in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation and have a uh, lone CDM, as you see in that space there, and see how he performs on his own. So let's get into a couple games and test this guy out. All right, so here we go with our first opponent. It took forever to find an opponent. Apparently, like I've seen around that, there's a, a big problem with EA servers. Uh, you can't find any games. There's a lot of one-two bars going around. So hopefully this is gonna be an all right game so we can test this guy out and uh, don't get a disconnection or something like that. Go, go. Stop him with a foul. Is that a yellow card already? Jeez. Oh, that wasn't what I expected, but anyways, very good there. And let's go. Jeez. There's the Sobo with a nice clean tackle. Let's go. Um, Soho. Can't get it there in time. Yes, Soho, yes. Nice strength there. Yes, Soho. No, can't lose it there. Yes, it's done. Oh, what a goal. What a goal, Betsy Zoo. I think it was an alright first half. Uh, let's check out the stats. 9 on 9 passes, 8 or 10 dribbles, and 2 or 3 tackles, so he's been doing excellent in the first half. It's a shame that we got that yellow card, so almost got it there. Nice pass. Come on, Sissoko. No, don't lose it there. Why? Alright, so 90 minutes are up. Uh, very, very good opponent here as you can see we picked it up we had the chances we were all over this game we couldn't score we lost some uh, big chances with uh, Zidane which I wasn't expecting uh, Sissoko I was expecting more for him to be honest I'm not too impressed actually with this card in these first 90 minutes 100% um, passing accuracy of course on 17 dribbles and two on five tackles so he's, he's missed a lot of tackles in the second half I think it was better in the first half Alright, so we can see the two very bad goals, uh, probably my fault anyways. So I've uh, gone all out attack, let's see if we can find any goals in this last 15 minutes in game. Okay. Alright, so that was a very tough game, very good opponent, I conceded a couple of very stupid goals there. I lost this game, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're here for the Sissoko fitness card. Uh, oops, I skipped that. I'll check out his stats because I wasn't too impressed with him. At first half, I think he did all right. Nothing really uh, fantastic, just okay. Um, 18 on 20 passes, 17 on 20 dribbles, and three on eight tackles. So in the second, uh, after the, the first half, um, well, he was missing a lot and I don't think there was uh, a lot of it due to me. He was getting also a bit pushed around which was very disappointing to me considering the strength and aggression that he has. What I'm saying is not that uh, Sissoko is a bad card obviously, I'm comparing this to the gold rare and I'm not seeing a big difference in this card from his gold rare. So with that in mind we'll go into another game. This time we're going to play him as a single CDM in a 4-1-2-1-2 and see if he plays better in that role maybe. So here we go with our second game. Um, a very nice meta team with the actual gold, gold rare Sissoko. So we'll see if we can grab the win here. In this uh, match we're going to play in a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow and Sissoko is going to be our, our single CDM. There he is, he's pushing up too much but he's a high high. Come on Sissoko, move it. Good. Yes, there we go. 1 0. Yes. Oh, what a ball. What a ball. Yes, it's so good. that's good defensive awareness there. But then we're for it. Yeah. Oh, no. 
Come on. Good suckle. Good. Good pass. Alright, so first half down. Um, again, I don't think anything uh, spectacular has happened from Sissoko. So 15 on 16 passes, 15 on 16 dribbles, and one failed tackle. So as good as a CM, I'm just not impressed of his defensive work. Um, I'm not seeing something uh, better than its actual standard card. Yes, a lot of play. Oh no, come on. <laughs> See that he does the tackle and, and it passes through his leg. What? See how he just fall down there. He's so tall, he's so strong, and yet. Look at this. He's getting bullied. Wow. That's tries to score a goal. Look at the shots you know, this guy is taking and they're going in. It's unbelievable. So let's have a look at this. So go well. I tell you I'm not impressed. Uh, I think I've changed my mind. Uh, 31 to 32 passes, most and everybody, but I try to get him involved as much as possible so we can have a look at this guy. Uh, 21 on 31 dribbles. And zero and three tackles. So, like I said, his presence as a center mid, um, maybe a box to box uh, player, was there, but his presence as a defender, I don't think was there at all. I didn't see it. And saying that is in this review, I'm comparing this guy to his standard gold rare. And if it's worth it to give out so many coins, more than 300, 350,000, something like that, to complete this SBC. So, let's go and have a look at this card. So, Footman Sissoko, uh, what can we say about this guy? Well, he is uh, Sissoko and you know from his gold card that he's uh, way overpowered. It's a fantastic card, his normal one. So you're expecting this uh, being three ratings higher to be even more broken than the first one. Uh, and especially for the price EA is giving it to us. But uh, I don't think it was there, especially like I said in his defensive uh, capabilities and his physicals. Um, he was being pushed around a few times. He wasn't making any good tackles. Uh, even a few times where he did the tackle, he didn't follow through and he didn't win the ball. So uh, I like the card, uh, but I don't like his uh, defending. If I was to have this card, I wouldn't play him as a, a sole uh, CDM. Uh, like I played him in the 4-1-2-1-2. I think I won that game because of the chance I created up top. And if I didn't, I think I would have lost that game. And that was due to the CDM that, as you saw in the stats, uh, wasn't there defensively, but it was there more as a CM, uh, passing the ball around and dribbling. So you're gonna see, I'm gonna put two comparisons here on the screen. First one is from um, the footmiss to the normal card. As you can see, he has 21 um, total stats and he has uh, about 88 in-game stats, which is not a lot for uh, three stats increase and 300k almost in price as you can see in the normal one is 3k and the uh, price going now is going to be 290 and as time goes by that is going to go way over 300k uh, then you can see here some other alternatives in the, the same price range obviously Kante uh, Alan wrote to the final which is a live card and it's an 87 and that uh, Bataglia SBC from Liga Nas, that everybody is saying that it's a fantastic player to play as a CDM. As you can see, Alan and uh, Bataglia have uh, better stats. Uh, I think Alan is missing two stats, but he has more in-game stats. And he has better stats in the defending area, area that I'm going to show you now. Bataglia is better in both his face stats and his uh, in-game stats. And he comes out at the same price and he is the same uh, rating 84 as well So here in the first comparison these are the two Sissokos, which is the fitness one and the normal one as you can see here These are the three other stats from the other three CDMs and they're all uh, Like maybe Kante might be a few stats or in-game stats behind. He still has a higher defensive uh, overall uh, Rating the same with Alan and I think the same also with Bataglia um, so Defensive-wise, which is the main stat that you will need from your CDM, 
you probably need a shadow to boost his defensive uh, stats to the maximum but saying in that you can also apply shadow to these guys and that will boost their stats to even better than Sissoko is going to be. So with that being said uh, I was all excited even though it was expensive I knew it was expensive uh, I probably didn't mind I was going to complete his SPC anyways because he's Sissoko and I love his gold card at the beginning uh, for as long as I played it and I was expecting this card to be a broken card to put it in the team and probably be like an endgame card but uh, I'm just not seeing it I'm not seeing a card that is worth 300,000 uh, coins I like this card as a as for his CM role that he played in the two games but I didn't like him for his defensive role and both games I think he didn't do much work to um, justify 300,000 points. So for me, I don't think this is a card that is worth uh, this amount of coins. If it was, I want to say under 200,000 coins, uh, it was probably going to be a, uh, an SPC that will complete. But for 300,000 coins and with so many special cards that will keep coming for Foot Mess and Team of the Year being around the corner, uh, I don't think I'm going to spend uh, 300,000 coins on this card to complete. So this is going to be it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed it, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.